It's time now to clear the air. And ever since he shot to the top of the Republican race for the White House, I've been trying to figure out which historical figure Newt Gingrich most resembles. From the first century, one might be tempted to call him a modern-day Saint Augustine. Mr Gingrich would probably like the comparison, especially since Augustine's best-known work is his Book of Confessions. In terms of literature, it's possible to see Newt Gingrich as Shakespeare's King Lear, a man of immense wealth who descends into madness after succumbing to flattery and brings only tragedy to all that he touches. As one character says of Lear, and might now be said of Gingrich, the Prince of Darkness is a gentleman. But when you study Newt Gingrich's writings, it quickly becomes apparent that he's a perfect combination of religiosity and insanity. Just recently, he tried to stir up fears that Islamic Sharia law was about to be imposed on every corner of the world. Sharia law, he says, is a mortal threat to the survival of freedom in the United States and the world as we know it. But at the same time as offering a pessimistic and foreboding view of our future on Earth, he seems completely optimistic about what may be happening elsewhere in the universe. In his book, To Renew America, published in 1995, Gingrich says, honeymoons in space will be the vogue by 2020. You know, the more I think about Newt Gingrich, the less I believe he's like St. Augustine or King Lear. In fact, there's only one person that comes close to Newt Gingrich, a science fiction writer so grandiose that he created his own religion. Newt Gingrich, the peddler of myths and fantasies, is the modern incarnation of the late L. Ron Hubbard, the founder of Scientology.